With his boyish looks, great comic timing, and knack for finding the humanity in stereotypical geek roles, Justin Long has risen to become a popular comic actor in Hollywood. Possibly one of his most well-known roles has to be the straight-talking bartender in He's Just Not That Into You. Is, uh, he's sort of an advice giver. He's sort of the guy that... He's kind of the guy that says he's just not that into you. You know, very cynical and, and uh, jaded when it comes to relationships. I actually related a lot to this character. I feel like I've gotten the point where I am kind of like... and, I, and uh, Kind of cynical. Not cynical, but you know, just sort of like rational about a lot of these things and, and a bit jaded I, I definitely am and so I'm, I'm just glad that the powers that be did not cast uh, the obvious guy it wasn't the you know this guy was I think they were you know usually like the full jaw and the kind of muscular you know it's just not me but um, but I do get him born in Connecticut in 1978 Justin's mom was in fact a Broadway actress not much of a student, in his yearbook, Justin was named most likely not to be seen in class, preferring at college to appear in plays as well as perform in the sketch comedy group Laughing Stock. He dropped out of high school early to pursue an acting career, landing his first job in a Pepsi commercial alongside Clint Eastwood. There were a lot of those moments where I was just like, I'm getting paid for this, this is very strange. In 1999, he scored his first film role, playing a nervous computer geek in Galaxy Quest. The film established his early screen persona, and he was cast in several similar roles, which included a regular gig on the TV series, Ed. He eventually broke free of the geek mold, playing a wise-cracking traveller in Jeepers Creepers and Britney Spears' boyfriend in Crossroads. His clever comic timing gradually elevated him from sidekick status. He impressed in Vince Vaughn's Dodgeball, a true underdog story, and then took the lead in films Waiting and Accepted and played Lindsay Lohan's boyfriend in Herbie Fully Loaded. But despite his film work, it was starring in the Get A Mac TV commercials for Apple computers that really got him noticed worldwide. They boosted his profile, and in 2007, he was cast alongside Bruce Willis in Die Hard 4. So what was it like working on a tough Die Hard film? Definitely like really cool moments, or surreal moments, where you're sitting in the car and the squibs are going off, and there's a guy shooting a machine gun at you, and a helicopter hovering 10 feet above you, and you're looking over and you see Bruce Willis, and you refer to him as John McClane, and it's like, it's weird. It's like when you're a kid and you're playing cops and robbers, and it's that kind of like excitement, you know. Although when you're a kid and you're playing cops and robbers, you don't want to be the guy who's like, oh my god, no, take my money, please. You want to be the guy who's like. And unfortunately, that was me in the movie. So was it intimidating working with the ultra-cool Bruce? It was intimidating, yeah, but, but after a couple days, you know, he's so down to earth and just a normal guy. And after a couple days, it was, it was, it was, he was just another actor I was working with, you know, which sounds strange to say. I don't mean to sound like cool and casual about it, but, but you, it really you do become just like co-workers, you know. Justin loves doing impressions and mimicking voices and actually started doing voiceover work to pay the bills early in his career. So in 2007, he jumped at the opportunity to lend his voice to the lead chipmunk, Alvin, in the live action film version of the cartoon series, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alvin, I think, is, uh, is just a born leader. I think he, he oozes charisma and, um, and, and charm. I think he's just a very naturally outgoing, gregarious, confident little animal. I think in his mind, he's, he's a lot larger than, than a chipmunk. Never one to take himself too seriously, 2008 saw Justin exercising his funny bone again in Strange Wilderness, and Kevin Smith, Zack and Miri make a porno, where he mixed things up playing a gay adult film star who helps inspire Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks to pursue their own fortune in pornography. I play... Uh, Brandon Routh's uh, lover. I'm a gay porn star, and um, I am, I'm ac accompanying him on his uh, trip back to uh, Monroeville for his high school reunion, and, and, and I sort of befriend Seth's character, Zach. 2009 was Justin's busiest year to date, starring in films like Youth in Revolt, Serious Moonlight, The Chipmunk Squeakwool, and he's just not that into you. But it was Drag Me to Hell that gave Justin the chance to work with iconic director Sam Raimi, which he loved. It's been such a thrill. It's been, um, 
it's been really different for me because I'm not used to working with some a director like that who I who is so accomplished and, and, and original and and I'm such a big fan of. So it's cool to come to work just as a aside from all the acting nonsense. It's cool to just show up as a, as a fan of somebody's and get to watch them on that level. So does he believe in the supernatural? I do, actually. I, I totally do. I believe in, in, in supernatural and the, the, it's in other worlds, some higher power. I believe, um, you know, in, it's like, uh, yeah, I, absolutely. I don't know if I believe in something as direct as, as this, you know, but I believe in karma. I believe in, like, an energy that you put out and... All that hippy dippy nonsense I totally <laughs> subscribe to. Then he returned to comedy for more giggles, lending his voice to the animated feature Planet 51. For this, I had to pitch it up a bit because he's, I'm 31 years old and and I have a very, you know, I have so much testosterone coursing through my body that I just have this deep, resonating, gorgeous voice. I have a voice like molasses. So I had to, he had to help me pitch it up and kind of turn it into more of a teenage, innocent, you know, a guy who who's, hasn't quite gone through puberty. I mean, it's just sort of like this. Hi, I'm Lem, and it was hot, you know. It was like... No, it, Lem is like, there's just sort of an exuberance and, and kind of a... It's embarrassing to do, because it's... That's what's great about doing animated movies. No one sees you do that. Man, there you go. That's why. In spite of his worldwide fame and dating high-profile actresses like Drew Barrymore, Justin recognises how lucky he is to have made a career in acting. I have those moments and I'm sure you had a bunch on this movie where you're doing something like that and you just think like, I, I, I'm doing this for a living, this is my job. You're like wrestling with an old lady in a mud pit. And you're <laughs> like, this is what I do, this is how I make a living. It's really surreal. It's great, it's, I mean, it's amazing what we get to do. And I'm sure he'll keep doing it for many years to come. With his everyman quality, Justin Long's likability, along with his quick wit and clever comic timing, can only ensure that his star will continue to rise. Stay tuned to Starfix for all of the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcasting glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.